I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. Barack Obama's inauguration as President of the United States was a day few of us believed we would ever see in our lifetimes. And his success seemed to mark a profound change in the history of America's tortured racial politics. Very few people had ever heard of Barack Obama when he gave a keynote speech at the 2004 Democratic Convention. I remember thinking, who is this guy? He was so exciting and charismatic and put forward a vision of America that could excite all of us across race. There is not a black America and a white America and Latino America and Asian America. There's the United States of America. Barack Obama was offering the country a kind of aspirational vision of what it could be, and it proved to be politically very, very powerful. Despite the enormous excitement that had greeted the speech across the nation, when the first-term senator announced his candidacy for president, it struck many as an exceedingly long shot. There was a lot of hesitation in terms of whether or not a black candidate could win the presidency, and whether or not voting for him would be, in effect, throwing away a vote. Though his presidential campaign focused largely on issues other than race, Senator Obama felt compelled to address the subject after an inflammatory video surfaced quoting his pastor, the Reverend Jeremiah Wright, out of context. With his presidential prospects in dire jeopardy, Obama confronted the issue directly with a brilliantly wrought and deeply personal speech. I can no more disown him than I can disown my white grandmother, a woman who loves me as much as she loves anything in this world, but a woman who once confessed her fear of black men who passed her by on the street. I think the fact that Barack Obama had grown up in a household where he did not have firsthand experience with you know, relatives who had gone through the litany of horrors that is in you know, the history of black people in this country meant that he had a perspective on race that very few African Americans in this country have. We may have different stories, but we hold common hopes. We may not look the same and may not have come from the same place, but we all want to move in the same direction towards a better future for our children and our grandchildren. There were African Americans who saw the speech and said, oh, okay, he understands where we're coming from. And there were white people who saw the speech and said he understands that you know, I'm not a racist even if I have these ideas that people might think are unpopular about race. That was the masterstroke of that speech. Obama's unifying message resonated with voters across the country. On November 4th, 2008, they elected him the first African-American president of the United States of America. Okay, y'all, we got our first black president. The idea that there is a black president, that black children, that black people can go out and say, there is somebody that looks like me in the White House. And not just Obama, right? Michelle Obama, their children, <laughs> that there is a family that looks like me in the White House is huge.